I had another 2-1 home victory against Potter's Bar. Um, felt we had a, a, a good first half, slightly indifferent second half. What were your thoughts on the game overall? Exactly that. I, I think we summed it up perfectly. Um, yeah, for whatever reason, second half, we didn't sort of get going. I don't... I, you know, you've got to credit the opposition. They come and um, pressed us maybe a bit higher than what we did, but I don't know, the game plan, they seem to have the same shape throughout and um, we did, so there's nothing changed on that and yeah we just didn't get into our rhythm um at all second half and we really struggled maybe with the wind to, to get out of our, our half of the pitch and um yeah we just got to stick to to what we do and we believe in and in the end i think you know harrison's penalty save is is match winning really um if they score that early in the in, into proceedings in the second half then it's a real tough ask for us yeah, and Danny Barker came off at half time. Was was that because of injury or was it tactical? Because obviously I felt that changed the game as well. Yeah, definitely. He just pulled his calf, um, Danny. You know, I think we spoke the other day um, about you know the whole squad being needed and the amount of games that these boys have have played in in recent weeks. And and also I I don't think um, going from like different surfaces uh, helps too much either. Going from like the grass and then to 3G and, and stuff. It really takes it out on, on the players' uh, legs and stuff. Um, so, yeah, it's one of those. Obviously, Aaron was missing today, and then Danny Bach went off. Um, so you're looking at it going, they had a lot of momentum, and have we got enough character out on the pitch? And fair play to the lads to, to dig in and get the result. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that, because obviously a lot of defensive changes. What what were your over thoughts, overall thoughts about the defence today? Yeah, I thought they dug in. Obviously, Harrison was needed a couple of times. I thought, like I say, first half, they didn't really cause us too many troubles at all. And then going down this way with the with the wind and that, uh, we, like I say, struggled to get out. And, um, yeah, I thought Luca defending the box really well. It's probably one of the best we've got at putting his body in and reading situations and defending the, the six-yard box. He, he does that really well, and I thought he'd done that really well today. OK, and obviously you brought Darren Budd on. Was that to show up the midfield? Because we thought there was a bit of a, a gap in that midfield, didn't you? Yeah. Like part of bar to sort of progress. I just felt we needed a bit of, um, I'd say, without one or two of, you know, the, the, the captain and then Danny Barker was captain today and, and then, then both not being out on the pitch. I just felt we needed someone in the middle of the pitch just to get us going a little bit. Uh, I thought we was too slow on the ball second half. Um, whether it's a case of you know one game too many and and you know the the legs we looked a little bit leggy I thought um, second half in particular um, with one or two but um, yeah just just thought I brought him on just for that bit of experience and just to G us up a little bit and I knew he would um, sort of manage the team on the pitch for me. Yeah, obviously the, the, the penalty at the beginning of the second half, we, we felt he started diving from the halfway line um, and then we had a good shout towards the end of the game, which the, the ref didn't give. So it was, you know, a couple of dubious decisions, I thought, to be honest. Yeah, I think um, the lad's got the wrong side of Will and then as soon as that happens, it's always, you know, you just got to hold your hands up and say you can't make a challenge and... Um, yeah, so I think that's always going to be given their one. Um, and then, oh, I don't know how. He's got the ball in the end, but he's gone through Miki to get to the ball, in my opinion. Um, so how both the linesman and the referee have not spotted it, then, you know, I'm a bit uh, miffed by that, to be honest. But um, it is what it is. It's not, I'm never one to blame officials and, and stuff like that. I think that sort of stuff evens itself up over the course of the season. So, um, you know, I think they do a brilliant job. Um, so... Or we'll we'll focus on um, what we can put right, uh, and there's definitely lots to put right in the second half. Yeah, um, back back to the injury uh, problem at the moment. Uh, obviously, Mar Marvin's out as well. I understand for about four weeks. Yeah, he's got um, a slight tear to his hamstring. Um, I think Danny Barker's is just a pull, so in his calf. Um, so obviously, by bringing him off, it stopped him getting a tear, and hopefully, won't be too long. Um, but. Like I said to you, it's, it's going to happen. It's, it's yeah. inevitable. Um, you know the boys as well went a long period last season without you know playing any football whatsoever, and um, I think that over time is going to have its effect on on the lads as well. Jesper didn't start today because he was ill um, on Thursday. We had Pat missing a couple of weeks ago because he was ill. Um, so you know the, the weather's changing. There's going to be illnesses. There's going to be injuries, and like I said, there wasn't. Um, any young lads on the bench today, but you know they're going to have to 
be ready because they're going to be needed, I think, over, over the next course of the six weeks or so. OK, so go on to the trophy next Saturday. How's the end in a way? Uh, continue the cup run? Will it be, with the injuries we've got, will, you, will you sort of um, make a few changes? Um, yeah, I'll have to, have to look at it, really. Um, obviously, we've got a free week this week, uh, which is nice, come at a good time for us um, to, to really sort of rest some players up and um, give the boys what they need. I think they need, you know, just a... A bit of a break, one or two of them, and one or two of them needs a little bit of work. So, yeah, we'll um, we've got full faith in every player that's in that dressing room um, to go out and, and represent Worthing um, and in the right fashion. So, um, yeah, we'll analyse, um, see who, where everybody is, see where Danny is, see how Marv's getting along. Uh, Joel missed a bit with his groins tightening up again. Um, so yeah, just see where everybody is and and make sure we've got a team ready to give a good account of themselves next Saturday. Excellent. Well, congratulations on the win and we'll see you next week. Cheers, Pete. Thanks, Pete.